fans are really excited to see what Loki's second season is going to bring us, specifically in how it relates to Kang and what the Conqueror's plans are. Now, one of the main stars of Loki teases what the future holds and teases what the future in relation to Kang has to bring to us. And it sounds like there's probably going to be a lot of problems for Sylvie. So speaking with Vanity Fair, Sophie DiMartino, who plays Sylvie, was asked about the ending of the first season. And she talks about all the unanswered questions that are still left hanging and obviously confirms that she's back for season two. And talks about what is happening in the next season and which direction they might go in. And she teases that there will be a lot of regret in everything that happens in the last episode specifically with Sylvie herself, because what she did was pretty much ruin everything, and she realizes right there at the end that killing Kang was a bad idea, and he was telling the truth, and he was keeping order, but she didn't believe him. And now going into the second season, she's going to see all the problems she caused in not just the sacred timeline, but every single timeline and multiverse and everything that's out there causing multiple problems, causing things to just happen out of order, causing chaos and confusion throughout the entire multiverse, and she will largely feel a ton of regret on what she's done because she's destroyed not just one reality, but all realities. And she also did say that she believes that Sylvie will feel regret for what she did to Loki, where she sent him, and what happens next with those two characters. And I think that's really important because those characters do have to meet face to face again, and Loki's probably going to go through a lot of trouble. I mean, he's clearly going to be captured by the TVA, and they're going to question him. And Kang is ruling the TVA now, and who knows how the bureaucracy in that place has gone different. Quite obviously, there's no timekeepers in that universe. So uh, that facade isn't there. Instead, there is just Kang, who's judge, jury, and executioner. So it will be interesting to see how they approach this and what her regret ultimately is and if that drives her decisions. Because you can really see what she was trying to do was noble and heroic, but at this point she ends up being a villain by the end of the first season. So regret will definitely be something that plays heavily into season two.